Hey guys, welcome back to Freedom Homestead. I'm Tangie and I'm out here on the back deck and I am saving some flower seeds and I wanted to show you how I do that. So come along with me and I'm gonna show you how I save marigold and zinnia seeds. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a coffee filter and I'm going to label this marigolds. Now I'm just gonna set these aside really quick. And here's what we're gonna do. Now I've already showed this in a previous video but I'm gonna show you again in case you didn't see the video. But this is what a marigold pod looks like after the flower has already uh, been spent. It's already blossomed and then it dried up. So I have some of the petal left and there is the pod. So that is what we are working with. Okay, I just wanted to show you something that I've, I've kind of figured out. If I hold the pod very firmly, I can pull the petals out and just leave the seed part so that cuts down on cleaning time okay so we've got most of the petals out and then I can just pull the seeds out like that So discolored, see, well, I don't know if you can tell. It's probably kind of hard to tell on the camera, but like this one's like a darker green and then this one is a lighter green. I'm gonna pitch that lighter green because they're not really supposed to look like that. And then after I sort them, I take out the uh, shriveled up ones, the discolored ones, the ones that are really small Then I have a labeled coffee filter over here. If you can see that, then I am putting the seeds in before I move on to the next pod. show you how to save zinnia seeds. As you can see I have this beautiful uh, flower head. I've let it dry up on the um, on the plant and so I'm just going to pull out some of the petals and you're gonna see the seeds at the base of the petals. You see that they're kind of spade shaped. So I'm going to hold the petals, grab the seeds, and I'm just gonna gently twist and that separates the seeds that separates the seeds from the petals okay just did it again there's the seeds I've got the petals here I'm gonna take it gently twist and now I just have a bunch of seeds these can be composted This is actually just a couple of flower heads. These definitely need to be sorted because there's a lot of chaff in there. Um, and then of course the seeds need to be sorted for, um, you know, size, uh, any sort of um, damage or, or whatever. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna continue working on these. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna lay these out just like I did the marigolds. I'm gonna put these in a labeled coffee filter and I am going to uh, let them hang out for a few more days, make sure that they're good and dry before I seal them uh, for next spring. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I'm kind of making this quick. See, so I've already got some seeds there. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking a little pinch full and I'm looking in my hand and the seeds that are nice and black and wide and flat, those are the ones that I am getting. And then I'm going ahead and I'm pinching the rest of the petal off. And then any seeds that are not black or they're kind of skinny and shriveled, those are the ones that I do not use. Put that in with the rest of my seeds. 
Okay guys, I am ready for bed and I'm sitting here watching TV with Jack. There's Jackie. He's tired. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to show you, I was uh, sorting seeds um, while we were hanging out watching TV and I just kinda wanna show you what it, the finished product this is looks what like. I actually, this is to keep the filter from flying away, but this is what I was actually able to keep out of the bowl. And then here's like, this is on a dinner plate, but that's Jackie's old dinner plate. But anyway, so that's what I'm not going to use. That's just part of the chaff. And that's also seeds that were probably misshapen, uh, maybe dried out a little bit. Um, so yeah, I was really only able to keep about a third, maybe of, maybe a little less than a third of, um, of what was in the bowl. So yeah, so it's very important to separate and sort your seeds when you're saving. Okay, so I'm just gonna have these on the counter for the for the next couple of days, making sure that these are, again, just good and dry. These are my marigold seeds, and these are my pink zinnias. I still have the green ones that I need to save, and I'm probably gonna go ahead and harvest more uh, seeds from the pink zinnias. Uh, and then in a couple of days after these have, um, after I've made sure that these are good and dry, I'm actually gonna put these in Ziploc bags. I'm going to label them, put the year on them, and that is how I will store my seeds that I save. So yeah, so that is how I save marigold seeds and zinnia seeds. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you, it was helpful and that you found it informative. And that's all I've got for you guys today. Until next time.